Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you one of our new products. Uh, we sell a kit that's very similar to this. This is the assembled version. Uh, it's uh, a power supply kit, a DC to DC. Actually, you can use AC as well because there is an onboard uh, bridge rectifier circuit. Uh, now the LM317, I wouldn't put more than 30 volts DC or AC on the input and keep in mind that the, uh, well, even though well, it's heat synced well, uh, it won't be able to source more than one amp. Um, so that's something to consider. The input terminal block is right here and because there is a bridge rectifier if you're using DC, it doesn't matter which, or which uh, hole you put the ground in, which hole you put the, the power line in, because the bridge, re bridge rectifier does it for you. It, it, uh, it, you have to go into some theory, but I'm not going to do that right now. Basically, if you've got, say, 12 volts DC, you can put your 12 volts DC source on the inside or the outside, and your ground on the inside and the, or the outside. The bridge rectifier just works it out. Um, if you're using AC, same thing. Neutral and hot, obviously you can't use 120 volt mains. You have to use a step down transformer from there. No more than 30 volts AC. And again, if a transformer is rated to have an output of 30 volts AC, check it because that's the RMS value. If something's rated for 30 volts AC, it's likely going to be around 36 volts AC and that might damage the LM317 on the board. Anyway, what I've got on the board right now is I've got 22 volts uh, on the uh, upper right pin of the terminal block, my ground, my uh, DC ground on the left, and as you can see, I've got 1.2 volts, which is the the lowest output I can get. The output uh, here, there's a plus and minus sign at the output DC. Well, obviously, minus is your DC ground out, and your positive is your your voltage out, your positive voltage out. So now I can take this uh, potentiometer, turn it slowly and I'll get between 1.2 volts and it stops right there because that's my maximum. If I had more voltage at the input it wouldn't be a problem. I could keep turning uh, but it does max out because of my limited, my limited DC at the input. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very easy to use and uh, this comes assembled and tested. It's new so feel free to ask any questions. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration. Uh, you got input and output filtering capacitors. You will see that if you put, say, if you if you put, uh, say, 12 volts at the input, because there's a bridge rectifier circuit, you'll uh, circuit you'll have uh, a little bit of a loss along the diodes. You can uh, use a multimeter to buy and uh, you know determine where to bypass that bridge, but I wouldn't suggest it uh, unless you really really want your output to be a good window of what your input voltage is. But again, if you have 12 volts of the input, your basically your output can be between 1.2 and roughly 10 volts. If you have 20 volts of the input, your output will be between 1.2 volts and roughly 18 volts. Hopefully that makes sense. The um, the change between the uh, input and the output right here is fairly linear. Again, um, it does max out at around 200 degrees of rotation because of my limited input voltage. So there you go. Uh, if you're curious, as, if you're curious about the kit, uh, I think we just ran out, but we will have more soon. So feel free to send us a drop us a line. And thanks for watching.